Do you ever wonder why the men you date always end up running back to you after a breakup? Isn't it strange how even when he does come back, it seems like it's for every reason except to finally treat you right in the relationship. Don't worry, I know how confusing this is for you. Which is why on today's show, we're going to be discussing why do men always come back? That way you'll have a clear understanding of his true motives and you'll stop yourself from falling for the abundance of tricks he will play on you to get you back into his life. So number one is control. When you lay on your back and you spread your legs wide open, I know it's very graphic, and he jackrabbits himself inside of you for 90 seconds. I know that's comical, but the reality of it is it's a very spiritual experience, right? There you're exchanging energies. And in the process of that, you're giving yourself to that man. What's going to happen is he's going to become accustomed to having that amount of control over you. I'm talking about the control over your spirit, over your being, right? Through the fact that you are giving yourself to him, men become Become accustomed to being able to have that level of control over you, being able to just say one thing and get you emotional about it. When you finally break up, they realize they can't just text you and tell you to pull up and, and you'll be there in 30 minutes like DoorDash Priority Express. But that also comes with the realization that I have lost control. So I'm going to come back in an attempt to regain my control over her. So for example, let's say you've ended your relationship with the guy and it's been about two to three months. What a lot of guys will do in order to try to regain their control over you, they're gonna text you something out of the blue and they're gonna say, I miss sleeping in the same bed as you. I feel like I miss those times when you would wake up in the morning and you would cook me Eggo waffles with the maple syrup. You know, the fake syrup, not the one that's really from the maple tree, like the fake one, but it tasted so good because you made them. Do you think maybe you could come over one more time and you could just make me those Eggo waffles? Why he's actually doing that is not because, oh, I came to the realization that I want to be back in a relationship with you. No, he came to the realization that probably based on what you've been posting, it's starting to look like you're getting over this situation. It's even starting to look like you might be dating new people. No, 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 no. So he's going to throw literally and figuratively the kitchen sink at you to try to get you to fold or to try to get you to break so that he can recognize that he still has control over you. Number two is ego. Never lose sight of the fact that a man's ego will have him doing things that you could never imagine doing yourself. Having someone else, having a woman submit to you, that is power. Now you can be responsible with that power or you can be irresponsible with that power. You know, like in Spider-Man, they say with great power comes great responsibility. So you have a choice there. That power feeds his ego and feeds his ability to look in the mirror and say, I strongest, most capable, intelligent man in all the kingdom. No man shall ever cross me. My muscles too big, my mind too strong my tools too sharp. That power, right, feeds his ego, feeds his uh, own self-image and self-worth. Guys also like validation as well. They just get their validation in different ways. So what do you think happens when you guys finally break up? Now his ego is gonna take a hit because after a while, even though he can say, yeah, you know, I'm the biggest, baddest man in all the land and I'm single now, I get to do what I want. After a while, when he starts to see that you're doing well, that's not really doing the thing that I want for my ego because it doesn't really make me feel like I still have power and control over you. So even if he's not actually currently with you in a relationship, men still like to be able to watch you from a distance and recognize how they still have power or control over you. It's the same way why an ex will see you at a party and the main thing he wants to do when he sees you at that party is he wants to mess with you. See how much control I have? Yeah, yeah, tell me again how, how much you like me. Yeah, you like me a lot, don't you? You love me, don't you, right? But it's a, it's a, it's a mental mental wanking that he gets to do, but instead of stroking his dangling, he's stroking his own ego. I'm so serious too. I'm going to tell you everything you want to hear so that you get thrown for a loop. I get back my control over you and then I get my ego satisfied. Once again, it's stroked and I busted a nut. I busted an ego nut. Number three, because he's attempting to downgrade you. This is stop pooping time. Stand up straight in your bed or in your chair, whatever you're doing, pay attention, have your ears perked up because this is very sneaky. And a lot of you don't realize that this is happening until it happens to you. Men are going to come back because they're going to attempt to do something very slick and they're going to try to downgrade you from being a girlfriend into being a side chick, 
into being a friends with benefits so that they can still have the same access to you as they did when you were his girlfriend. But now there's no commitment to you. You don't realize uh, he comes back to you that he's actually downgraded you because he makes it feel like as if the relationship is just hitting resume. You do a lot of the same things. You hang out a lot of the same places. You talk the same way you've been talking to each other, right? You convince yourself in your mind, oh, this is the same relationship that I'm accustomed to. However, even though you're still spending time with each other, you're technically two single people. It just feels familiar to you because that's the same person you were just dating and your feelings are still existing for that guy. This is why it's very slick and very smart for the men to do. You treat it like a relationship. You're loyal to him. You wash, you clean his underwear. You do his laundry. Uh, you, you do his bed in the morning. You make him breakfast. You cook him dinner while he takes a step back and says, yeah, you know, I'm just kind of I'm just kind of seeing how things play out. And so very easily you go from being a girlfriend to being a friends with benefits. He goes and he spends time out doing exactly what he wants to do. And he's he doesn't have to be responsible to you. He doesn't have to answer any of your questions. He doesn't owe you anything. He doesn't have to even be consistent with you because you're not his girlfriend anymore. Because even when you recognize, hey, you're literally, you're sleeping with other girls. Well, then he, this is what he says to you. And this is where you get a stuck between a rock and a hard place. He says, well, we're not in a relationship. We're just trying to see if we can get back to where we were. I'm getting exactly what I want, exactly how I've been wanting to get it from her. I still have my control. My ego is still fed and I owe her nothing. And the number four reason, but it's because the streets are cold. A lot of times men will realize two things. They'll realize that what you were willing to offer them and give to them was way, 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 way more than any other girl is willing to offer them and give to them. Because now that I go out into the real world and I meet new girls, I realize majority of those girls are not capable or even have the desire to do the things that she was doing for me. The second realization is even more painful than what I just mentioned. And this is actually what a lot of guys go through, where they go out into the world thinking that they're all big and bad because they got you. I'm so amazing. I can go out and get any girl that I want to. They go out into the real world and they realize, actually, I don't have as much game as I thought I did. Actually, I'm not as cool as I thought I was because when I go on to the Miami Strip and I try to compete for all of the baddest bees, I realize all these other men got Rolexes. I realize all these other men driving Ferraris. They got a lot of stuff that I don't have and they get humbled and they think to themselves, damn, um, this actually isn't everything it's crept up to be because I'm chasing around a lot of women that actually don't care about me. But that realization will motivate a lot of men to say, <laughs> wait a second, girl, you know, you know, you my princess, right? Number five, personal pleasure. I have to recognize this because if I don't recognize this, then we're not having a real conversation and I cannot serve you if we do not have a real conversation. You'll realize that being with you gave him access to a lot of lubricated squirtle that he's always been addicted to. And he had as much of that as he could possibly imagine. And he came to the realization that when he no longer has access to you, there's no more personal pleasure, no more footies, no more handies. He's going to realize that in order to get squirtle now, he's going to have to pay for a whole bunch of dates for from for different women. He's going to have to hop himself on hinge, hop himself on bumble, talk to 20 women. He's going to like have to like every single girl. He's going to have to respond to all these different prompts. And I'm coming to the realization that this is way too much work. And it was way easier for me when I was able to be in an already existing relationship with a girl and just get access to her 24 seven. So he's going to come back to you hoping that he can rekindle this relationship, even if he's not trying to build something with you, just knowing that, hey, you know that we were once doing a thing where I had access to you basically all the time and you would come over to my place like DoorDash. Do you think maybe we could go back to doing that thing where you would come over to my place at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and I would have access to you 24-7 all the time, 365, and you would be like Express Shipping, Amazon Prime, you'd be like DoorDash Priority? 